Hello, in this tutorial you will learn how to change your site header on scroll by using Royal Elementor add-ons plugin, how to change its design, make it sticky, change its height or scale on scroll, change its background color or completely replace it with a different header, set the distance to start the effect and display your custom header when scrolling up from bottom to top. So I'm in my WordPress dashboard and you can see that I only have three plugins activated, Elementor, Royal Elementor Add-ons and Royal Add-ons Pro version, because this feature is only available in Royal Elementor Add-ons Premium version, and I've also imported one of the Royal Elementor Add-ons template kit. And to begin with, first we need to go to Royal Add-ons, Theme Builder, and in Headers section let's edit our header template. So this is our header and this is the navigation which we want to change on scroll. The way it works is, we need to create another section which will replace the default one when user scrolls the page. And the easiest way to do it is to duplicate the already existing navigation section. So let me right click on this section and choose duplicate. Now we need to customize it, so let's go to style and change the background color from black to white, just like that. Next let's edit the navigation menu itself and in style Let's change the color from white to black. Next let's add a new column inside of our section, because I'd like to display the logo right before the menu. So let me drag and drop the navigation to the right column. And I'm just gonna copy the logo from here, and paste it into newly created left column. Let's adjust the width of the columns, something like that, and I think that's pretty much it. This new navigation or header will replace the default one when user scrolls down the page. But to actually make it work, first we need to edit the default section and activate Make this section sticky. Make sure that sticky relation is set to Window. And in Advanced section, let's activate the Enable Advanced options. From here, we need to activate Replace with New section because that's what we're doing, we are replacing the default section with the new one. Let's update the page and go back to our site, refresh it and now if we scroll, we can see that the default header navigation is replaced with the new one. We can also change the transition animation from slide to fade or set it to none and change the animation duration as well. Next option I'd like to show you is Show on Scrolling Up. So let's activate it. And when this option is enabled, the new section, which we've just created, will only be visible when user scrolls from bottom to top. So let's update the editor again and refresh the page. And now we can see that when we scroll from top to bottom, the new navigation is not visible, but when we scroll up from bottom to top, it shows the new header navigation. Now I'm gonna disable this option again, cause next I'd like to show you scroll top distance option. Here we can enter any number we want in pixels. So let's say 500 pixels for example. Let's quickly update the editor and refresh the page. And now the header will only change when user scrolls down at least 500 pixels. We can see that at first it stays sticky and after 500 pixels it shows our brand new header navigation. Alright, in the first part of this tutorial we learned how to replace our header section on scroll with a new one, but in the second part of this video we will see how to customize it on scroll without creating additional section, how to give it a background color, scale its elements, set the borders and drop shadow, so let's jump right into it. In Theme Builder, let's edit the header template again. This is our header, so let's edit this section. Go to Advanced and activate Make this section sticky again. Let's make sure that sticky relation is set to Window. Enable Advanced Options. And this time we're not gonna activate Replace with New Section, but instead let's activate the custom settings. Like this custom colors, for example. Let's set the background color to white. Next, activate Logo Scale. 
I think 75 will be okay and this will make the logo and the section itself smaller on scroll and change the background from transparent to white. So let's update the editor, go to the site and refresh it, where we can see all the changes we've just applied to the header navigation. There's also an option to change the text and link color, which you can try if that's what you need. And in general, you can see that this is a better feature and a lot of improvements are coming soon. If we scroll down a bit, there's an option to set the border width. Let's set the border bottom to 1 and change the color to black. And activate the custom shadow as well, where we can set the box shadow color. Let's quickly see how it works. On scroll, it adds the box shadow and border bottom effects. Let me go back to the editor again, because there's one nuance I'd like to highlight related to the logo scale option. Right now, height of this section is determined by the height of the logo, because the logo is the tallest object inside this section. So when we scale it to 75%, the height of the section becomes smaller as well. So let me show you what I'm trying to explain here. Let's go to logo style and set the widths to something really small like 20 for example and go back to the site to see how it affects the header. Now we can see that when we scroll down logo scales down to 75% but the height of the navigation section remains the same it's not determined by the logo height anymore. If this is the case for you, alternatively you can edit the section and in layout set the minimum height. Let's say 120 for example. And now in advanced, if we scroll down a bit, we can enable custom height option. And we have to set it to something smaller than the minimum height we've just set, which was 120. So 50 will work. Let's update the editor and refresh the page again. We can see that height of the header is 120 pixels, but when we scroll down it will become 50. But it cannot be less than the height of the tallest object inside of the section. I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please go to royalelementoradons.com where you can get help from our support team. Download the free version of the plugin or upgrade to Pro. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.